goodness, how busy you all are. Hello, Mr Bentley. I've sacked all the new glass for the skylights on the roof, Bob. Thanks, Lofty. Ready to put in that burglar alarm, Wendy? Yes, Bob. All set. Good. I want to be sure that all the Mayor's important documents are safe while she's away on holiday. That's a simple job, Mr Bentley. We'll get it finished today. Excellent. Well, things to do. Pencils to sharpen. I'll see you all later. Right, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Let rainwater in. I'd better seal it up. Ah, Mr. Bentley. Just in time to help me. Could you walk along the hall, please? Uh... Oh! Great. That oh. movement sensor up there saw you, so anyone walking around inside the building after it's locked will trigger the alarm. Now all you have to do is enter your phone number alarm code. When it beeps, you have 30 seconds to close the front door. Hmm. All finished, Mr Bentley. Thank you. The Mayor will be delighted. OK, Mr Bentley. Oh. Uh, eh, eh. <laughs> ah. Oh, goodo. Good night and thank you. Night, Mr. Bentley. Sleep tight. Nighty night. Is that the town hall alarm, Wendy? I'm afraid so. I'll call Bob, then come over with you. <sighs> hmm. Hi, Wendy. No. Oh. Hi, Wendy. Everything all right? Sorry to bother you, Bob, but the town hall alarm's going off. All right. Don't worry, I'll be there in five minutes. What's going on? That light shows the alarm was set off in the mayor's office. Right. We'd better investigate. Uh, shall I come with you? Oh, please stay with me, Mr Bentley. We do really like the dark. Of course I will, old chap. I can't find anything wrong at all. Me neither. Right. <gasps> Everything seems OK. Oh. Phew. Ah. I'm sure it won't happen again, Mr Bentley. I'm sure it won't. Uh, thank you all for coming out. Good night. Night, Mr Bentley. Good night. Hello? Bob, Wendy? The going off. Oh no, not again. Eh, hey, is it morning already? No, sorry, Lofty. We need to go to the town hall again. Again? <gasps> Can I come? <laughs> go back to sleep, Dizzy. It's just a little problem with the alarm. Actually, Bob, I'd really like Dizzy to come too. Okay then. Everything's fine here. Well, <gasps> it's very strange, Mr. Bentley. We still can't find any reason for the alarm to be going off. Well, in that case, there's only one explanation. It was a ghost. A ghost? Come on, you two. There are no such things as ghosts. 
Oh. But Mr Bentley said that was the only explanation. Oh, I'm sorry, Lofty. That was just a joke. We'll have to leave the alarm off and stay here to see if we can find out what can be triggering it. I'd be happy to patrol the rear of the town hall, Bob. Thank you, Mr Bentley. Wendy and I will stay inside. And Lofty, mm. you and Dizzy watch the front of the building. OK, team? Oh, yes! yes! Yes, sir, Bob, sir. Oh. Don't worry, Lofty. If we do see any ghosts, I'll keep you safe. Um, OK, then. There's definitely no problem with the wiring on these sensors. We'd better check the rest of the building, then. <laughs> Look! What was that? Is that a ghost? No, that's just an owl, Lofty. Phew. That's OK, then. Hmm, at least I think it was. What? I'd better check the side of the building. I'll only be a minute. OK. There's no such thing as ghosts. There's no such thing as... Oh. Oh. Hurry up, Dizzy. She'll be back in a minute. That's only 60 seconds. 59, 58, 57. Hmm. Um. 30, 29, 28... Lovely! Lovely. 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 It's me! Dizzy! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Are you OK? <laughs> Hiya! Wah! Hmm. All clear here. Better see how Lofty and Dizzy are getting on. It just breathe slowly in and out, in and out. <laughs> 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 oh, it's just you, Mr. Bentley. Oh, are you okay, Lofty? <laughs> well, we've checked the rest of the building, so the answer must be in Mayor Madison's office. Huh? <gasps> We found our ghosts, Wendy. They're bats. <gasps> Go! Run for it! <laughs> <laughs> Dizzy, Lofty, Mr. Bentley, we've solved the mystery. It's bats. Where are they? Um, over here. Uh... It's OK, Lofty. Look at the bats. Aren't they glorious? Oh, yeah! They are amazing! But I wonder who bats got inside the town hall? Bats only come out at night, so they must have been sleeping somewhere inside during the day. They flew out of the fireplace, so maybe they were in the chimney. Yes, good thinking. We'll go up and check in the morning. You were right, Wendy. I found this hole yesterday and sealed it up. If that's how the bats were getting inside the chimney, they wouldn't be able to get out again afterwards. The bats were sleeping in the chimney. I accidentally blocked up their way out. So all you have to do is make another way out for them. It isn't that simple, Lofty. It's OK for bats to sleep there when it's summer, but they'd be hurt if anyone lit a fire when it's cold. Oh, no! You've got to find a way to keep the bats safe, Bob! Don't worry, Dizzy. We'll build the bats a new house and put it by the chimney where they used to sleep. I'm sure the bats will feel at home in their splendid new bat house. Now I need to work out how to tell the mayor about her new neighbours. <laughs> Good luck with that, Mr Bentley. Oh, dear. 
I knew all along that the town hall wasn't really haunted. Of course you did, Lofty. <laughs> That's a big hole. How did that happen, Bob? It was the huge storm we had last night, Muck. Big waves crashed against the wall and damaged it. Good morning, Bob. I do hope you can fix this today. Hello, Mr Bentley. Yes, I'm sure we can. Thank goodness. We can't have our seawall turning to rubble. Tomorrow's the start of the spring holidays. People will be coming here to have fun. Who'd want to spend time on a beach covered with rubbish? Oh? Oh, dear me, you're right, Lofty. That's not good. And there's flotsam and jetsam everywhere. Flotsam what, Mr Bentley? A flotsam and jetsam. It's what we call things that float in the sea and eventually get washed up onto beaches like this lot. So it's all rubbish? Well, mostly. But as a boy, I used to go beachcombing. Oh, the hours I spent searching the sand for anything special or interesting. <laughs> oh. Yuck. Uh, however, right now, I need the beach to look perfect for our visitors. Well, I can work on the wall while Lofty, Muck and Scoop clear the beach. Easy peasy! No problem, Bob. Thanks, Bob. I'll leave it to you. See you later. Bye. Woohoo! Look, he's Curtis. Where's he going? I think he's off to do a spot of fishing, Muck. Now then, let's get to work. Yes, okay, Bob. What treasures there might be among the Flotsam and Jetsam? Oh, really? If we're lucky, we might find something really, really special. <gasps> like that piece of driftwood. <laughs> That's not special. It's no good for anything. Except the bin. It's good for looking at, Scoop. It's like a work of art. It's beautiful. Beautiful? Just looks like a piece of old wood to me. Well, to me it's beautiful, and I'm going to look for more pieces of driftwood. See yourself. I'm going to do some clearing. OK, guys, time to get this beach ready for some spring fun. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! <gasps> no, Scoop. That's much too interesting to throw away. What? Look at that lovely curly shape. It's almost like the tail of a mermaid. Uh, no, can't say it, Lofty. It's just useless driftwood. You can't do anything useful with it. I bet I can do something with it, but I'm not sure what just yet. Why don't you put all the driftwood in one neat pile near the ramp, Lofty, and then you can decide what to do with it later. OK, Bob. Then would you come and help me put this stone back in the wall? Will do, Bob. Good work, Lofty. Thanks. Do you think I've got all the fixum and gypsum scoop? Flopsum and gypsum! Fix them and gypsum. Flotsam and gypsum. Yeah, there. Have I got it all? Um. Oh, oh, hang on. I can see one more piece. Sorry, girl. What's that, Scoop? Huh? Driftwood. You could make something interesting out of that. A garden decoration or a fence post or a... Uh, it's just more rubbish, Curtis. Huh? Here, Mark. Thanks, Scoop. I've got it all, Bob. That's great, Muck. Would you take it to the recycling centre, please? On me way. Wow. Look at that driftwood. It's so lovely. I have to save it. <laughs> I just need to grab it. <laughs> Oh, 
most. Oh, mess! Got it. Just hang on a second, Mac. Hey, what's going on? Thanks, Mac. I just had to save this piece. Sorry, I made a mess. But I'll go and pick it all up now. Uh, how are you going to do that, Lofty? Look. <gasps> Who knew? What a disaster! It's all drifting back out to sea. Excellent, Bob. As good as new. And the beach looks pristine. Perfect for tomorrow's holiday makers. <laughs> <sighs> Lofty, is something wrong? It's my fault, Bob. I had to rescue this driftwood, but... Yes? I sort of pulled out some of the flotsam and jetsam, and it sort of fell into the river, and now it's sort of... Uh... Heading this way! Oh, no! Well, at least it's not on the beach. But the tide is coming in, which means it soon will be. Oh, no. I'm really sorry. If we have a messy beach, the visitors won't stay. And all my plans for carnivals, regattas and fix some fun, fun, fun will be for nothing. This will be a disaster. I've got a bite! Huh? I've got a bite! <laughs> oh. See? The disaster is happening already. Oh, I wish we could collect it all before it reaches the beach. If only, yes. That's it, Lofty. That's exactly what we'll do. Huh? There's more than enough. Uh, did I suggest something clever? You did, Lofty. We can make floating booms out of your wood and use them all to catch the debris. Ooh, that does sound clever. Oh, no. Ugh. Curtis! Would you give us a hand to collect all that rubbish? Yes, of course, Bob. Anything if it means I can catch fish instead of rotting boots. Excellent! Just one more thing. Hi, Bob. Hi, Wendy. There's a bit of an emergency down at the beach. Please, could you bring us a long rope? OK, no problem. I'm on my way. OK, Lofty, you and Curtis are going to sweep along the shore and collect all the rubbish with the booms. Got it, Bob. OK, Curtis, let's go! Whoa, what? Take it easy, Lofty! Yes, you need to coordinate with Curtis and work together. Right o coordinate. Right o Curtis, I'll stay here. You bring the boom round towards the beach. Ha-ha! <laughs> Driftwood was good for something after all. Ooh, what's going on? Good timing, Muck. We've got one last load of Flotsam and Jetsam for you. Oh, thank you, Bob. You've saved Fixum Beach from disaster. Now our visitors will have a wonderful clean time when they arrive. Oh, but aren't you getting rid of that too? No, we can't. That wood is really special. Hey, just look at all those beautiful shapes. They do look interesting. That's good beach combing, Lofty. So, what are you going to do with them, Lofty? I think they should be on display. Hey, huh? What about using them to decorate the path from the car park to the beach? What a splendid idea. Oh, good do. Let's do it. There. All done. Happy, Lofty? It looks really beautiful, Bob. What do you think, Scoop? I think that one looks like a unicorn. That one just looks like a big stick. 
That one looks like Mr. Bentley on a scooter, and that one... 